alcohol and no frank tags. I believe I got a ticket for that. I'll be going right back in getting a, a statement. But, uh, unless he's got temporary tags. Look at that. It's got the thin blue line right there, guys. It's got the thin blue line right there. And no license plates on the front end. Let's go back here. And he's got kid seats. So you know the cop sucker got kids. I'm gonna need another complaint for him. Officer still don't have a front license plate. I believe I got a ticket for that failure to display. You won't have to anymore, Dave. Uh, passed in January. Okay, well I already got that ticket, so I like one of them informal complaints because uh, I'm still gonna complain about it. All right. I'm gonna need another complaint for him. Officer still don't have a front license plate. I believe I got a ticket for that failure to display. You won't have to anymore, Dave. Uh, and even though the law has been passed, you could still be cited for not having a front license plate through June of next year. We're live tonight in Moraine. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you. First here tonight at 10, it is now official. Ohio will become the 20th state to drop its front license plate. The change is included in the new transportation budget, which Governor Mike DeWine signed into law just hours ago. 2 News reporter Kristen Escow talked to law enforcement and local drivers, and she's digging into the impact of this law change in our top story. In Brook and Mark, starting July 1st, 2020, you'll no longer need this front license plate, which means law enforcement agencies will only have the back plate to stop or identify drivers. I'm going to need another complaint for him. Officers still don't have a front license plate. I believe I got a ticket for that failure to display. You won't have to anymore, Dave. Uh, it passed in January. 